also, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. And I ordered my own birthday present. And... You didn't pick the color. I picked the color. I picked everything. But we don't know how well we're going to be treated. And we're kind of apprehensive, but the only way to really know is to go and find out. So let's go. Loaded up with everything in the Explorer. Pulled over to check a strap, something loose. And when we went to pull out again, something blew. So we have coolant leaking or something. So with the type of activities we've been doing, we really need something that's four wheel drive, has a low range. The Explorer even had a limited slip rear differential, but we managed a couple of times to really get it stuck. We always got out, it just always was a lot more work than need be. Well, I think this is mine. It might be mine. We're a little nervous because we initially put in the order with Gus Johnson Ford. It was Gus Johnson, right? Yep. And now we're with uh, Corwin Ford, bought them out haven't had a lot of contact with them. They're a bigger conglomerate, we're not sure. So let's check it out. Hopefully they'll treat us right and we'll be driving this home. So far, so good. Love the color. This is so cool. Treating us good so far. Not seeing any hiccups just yet. Not 100% ours yet. We're getting there. Well, that was fairly painless. They didn't mark it up. We got it at MSRP, what we paid for it. The only strange thing was we didn't get to even see the vehicle until after we bought it. But they got us in and out fast. So I don't have any complaints. Yeah. After all the horror stories online and everything, uh, people, issues people have had, it, we really were thinking we'd have to make a fight, but no, they were great. I don't know how they do on other stuff for us though. Corwin Ford, good job. That was awesome. So, uh, I have to admit though, like we bought this, we hadn't even had a chance to sit in a Bronco, let alone drive this one or anything. So this is the first time we're sitting in a Bronco, let alone our very own Bronco. So, very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Now we just need to get out and use it. And burn off that, that new car smell. Because yeah. all, the, all the hot components, they start to have that smell, but every new car has that. They do. So this I was really pleased with, I, overall, the build quality is better than I was expecting. I mean, I've heard people complain. Um, but then again, we haven't touched everything either. So, um, it's... It's no disappointment. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, we we really went all out with the options and everything, and but it, this is nice. Seats are nice and supportive. It's comfortable riding position. People complain the soft top is loud, but it's a soft top, people. I mean, you're going to hear outside traffic in that. That's just the way it is. But yeah. I don't know. Things might loosen up over time. We'll see. We'll see how it does. Yeah, we plan to put it through its paces and really, really get out and use it this year. We're excited. We didn't get a camping last year. Uh, with the Explorer having issues and problems, we didn't feel comfortable taking it in the woods. We knew we needed something else. We put in our Bronco order uh, seven months ago. What, June? June, June. June. And so this is January, and we just now took delivery of it. And I hear they are still backed up on these orders as far as that. So we're pretty happy to have it in time for spring and summer. Plan to get out in February and do some trips. So go south. Let's get some food. I'm hungry. Yes. Food. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please stop screaming. <laughs> first got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. So I have to admit we optioned for the front and rear lockers and the extra clearance of the Sasquatch package. Other than that we tried to keep it relatively basic but those other add-ons really add other packages that we didn't necessarily need but in the end how do you ever turn something nice down? 